Hi, my name is Ken Tan. I'm a creative director. I have a lot of things uh, to do actually in a day. Most important of which is I run a digital uh, marketing agency. So that I look after like clients and help them out with their marketing projects uh, across digital uh, channels. I also am the creative director at uh, three bars. One of them is the prominent uh, gem bar found on Anxiang. And recently I've been made a partner at Supplies and Company, which is a furniture lifestyle store uh, at Raffles Hotel. So yeah. So I think the next project for me is to uh, actually design my own uh, DJ rack. Uh, I've been dabbling in uh, interior design a bit, as you can see uh, from my house. This is all of my own design. So I think it'll be interesting to actually try to design something that can fit a Singaporean house because you know our houses are quite small and we don't have a, a lot of space, right? And something that can actually serve uh, the, perp the needs of a DJ. So for, for myself, I, I prefer just uh, listening to music and therefore this modular uh, system that I'll be designing can serve that. But also aesthetically, it looks good. There wasn't much of a scene back in, Singap uh, in Singapore back then for drum and bass, but my first love is ov obviously uh, drum and bass and uh, jungle. So I remember logging on to uh, drum and bass arena a lot back then and uh, watching those live, uh, live feed of shows and it's, the streaming back then is not very good actually. So with the love for drum and bass, I think I found uh, a collective here in Singapore like, which is the, the, the old Gorilla crew, right? And, uh, started hanging out with them a little bit and uh, bought my first record at HMV if I'm not wrong. And yeah, one thing led to another. <laughs> that's, that's how we got started. First record that I bought. If I'm not wrong, I think it's uh, a drum and bass record on a uh, creative source. And it might have been Creative Source, Source 002, Calex or something like that, yeah. But I don't have it now anymore. <laughs> I try to keep my ears open quite a bit, right? And uh, social media is actually a big help because, you know, whatever my friends share and I have a mentor, I don't want to name names, but thank you, Mr. Crispian Lai. So whenever he shares something, you know, you, you take it from that point, that, that, that little track he shared, and you start experimenting and going deeper and researching into uh, that kind of feel uh, yourself. And then you, you start to like, uh, learn a lot more music. So I buy a lot of my records, I think primarily online. Uh, for drum and bass, I go to Discogs, and uh, I'm also quite active on the marketplace, so we buy from there as well. And um, the rest of the stuff, I use, sometimes go to uh, Adelphi and just look at uh, the records on sale there. You never know what you can find, right? Groove Rider, prototype years. Limited edition. Usually it's black with orange, but because I collect, I like to get the limited ones, right? So this is like the apple eye of the record. Brilliant tracks in here. Another really, really rare record. James Mason, James Mason, Rhythm of Life on Charascuro Records, which is so old, it's like 1970s. This is real rare groove jazz funk. Another of my favorite, Chad Baker, one of the last few albums before he died. Uh, this is actually a very good uh, documentary. This, this is a soundtrack of a very good documentary uh, by Bruce Weber. So please go get the documentary and check it out as well. Really, really good songs in here. He sang his heart out. So yeah, these are some of my favorite records. Mm -hmm. 